We're down to our final runs in the inline park final. Stefan Alfano from Team Europe sitting on top. His teammate Sven Bokers with one more shot. But Team USA's Jaron Grobe, his final chance to bump his way up into the number one spot. Team Europe, as a team right now, cannot be beaten in this event. But Sven Bokers can beat his teammate, Stefan Alfano. Fakey 720 to start it out. He's got the experience to do it. And he's got a good line. In the first round, this line did not come off flawlessly, but looking pretty good right now as he transfers off of the bench onto the ledge. Alley backside, backside unity down the ledge box. Where Sven excels the most is he just racks up points. Just trick, 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 and they're all clean. And good. These are not simple tricks that Sven is throwing out there. Every single trick, every wall, every ramp, every grind, these are all difficult tricks. That's why he scored so high. Oh! oh! 180 transfer. Right into the fakey 360 over the channel. This is a brilliant run from Sven Bokerst. And for those that don't skate regularly, sometimes a 180 is more difficult than spinning. Well, and certainly more difficult than just launching over the thing straight. Fish brain to finish it off. Wow. And remember, he's got two spots to work with. Right now, Sven sits in third, and that was a much better run than his first run. Sven's able to put lines together like no one else. 180 from the transition all the way to the transition of the launch ramp. Watch how he has to contort his body and do everything he can just to make that clearance. Sven Bokers, 92-25. Now he sits on top with Stefan and some energy going of the inline park competition. Asia, a good finish. Disappointment for the USA. Australia did well, but how could you touch such amazing skating from Stefan Alfano and Sven Bokers? Arlo Eisenberg is down with Team Europe right now. We haven't seen you in a while since your injuries, but what a way to come back. Yeah, I cannot believe it that I won street and yesterday I skated also pretty good on third, so I'm really happy after eight months coming back like that. So I couldn't wish a better start like that. Well, we told you this event could have a big impact in the overall global... Frustrating day, but it wasn't for lack of effort or heart. It was Team Europe who rose to the occasion taking the top two spots and catapulting Team Europe to the top of the global leaderboard. Another amazing event here in the Alamo Dome, but now let's head back up to Whistler and the men's snowboard